I'm standing above Farmer House Common Room right now, where last night spectators and candidates gathered to hear the results of the Students' Union elections for 2019. The election results are as follows. Becky Duran was re-elected for her second year as Activities Officer. Nina Halberg was elected as the new Welfare Officer. Your new undergraduate officer is going to be Chris Harding, and his running mate, Benjamin Matthews, uh, will be your new postgraduate officer. Ijlal was elected as Society and Citizenship Officer. Last but not least, your new president will be Filip Vasilevich. We spoke to some of the winners after the election results were announced to see what they had to say. I am now joined by Becky Duran, who has just won the position of Activities Officer. How are you feeling, Becky? I'm really excited, relieved, uh, and glad this week has come to an end. <laughs> What's going to be your priority now that you're in office? Uh, I'm super excited to work with the new officer team. I see it's a whole kind of different group of people, and that's really exciting. I'm also excited to work with students to make Students' Union exactly what they want, involving more people, getting the website up to date, a new app, and really engaging the student body in the Student Union. All right, I'm now joined by Chris, who's just won the undergraduate position. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling really relieved. Um, it was a it was a very long week, but it, in, in a lot of senses it was a really nice week because all of the candidates running were really positive, really supporting of each other. What's going to be your priority now that you're in office? So, so the basis of my manifesto was getting more for students out of their education than just a qualification. So I want to work on um, lobbying the uni to get more subsidies for extracurricular language courses, um, start working to get better opportunities for undergrads to do research, um, continue the great work that Elle has done closing the BME attainment gap, and, and much more. Lots of plans, but yeah, those, those two key points will be the first kind of first ones I want to start rolling out. Yeah. What's going to be your priority now that you're in office? Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get the stats for voter stats uh, to see the, uh, the level of engagement from postgrad and MA students and to find out which particular schools are more engaged and which are less engaged to try and work with the schools to improve a sense of community and really work on bringing all of the schools together, all of the different uh, groups, postgraduate groups on campus together to build a real sense of community. I'm now joined by Ijlal who has just won the position for Societies and Citizenship. How are you feeling, man? I think like it's not relief, it's not just happiness, it's more shock. I can't really can't fathom it that I won because I ran last year and I ran again this year but last year I lost so I was so ready to lose like literally I didn't even, didn't even come for the results and for the announcements I was in a class with my professor and my, uh, the rest of my classmates and then I, somebody texted me that I won and I was like oh shit I won I won I literally gathered my notebook gathered my stuff and I was like to my professor I need to go I won the elections and literally came running from Jubilee first brown guy on the SU officer team so I'm really happy about that what's your priority now that you're in office I think one of my first priorities is to ensure that marginalized groups students group student groups who feel disenfranchised from the students union to make them feel included to have their voices heard and not just listening to them and listening to what they want but other than that also coming up with policy and taking actions in accordance with what they want mm -hmm. so my first steps would be to ensure that this issue becomes about the students you're now the president of the students union what is going to be your priority now that you're in office i want to make this the university listen to students because I don't feel like that's happening. I feel like the, there are a lot of big decisions happening within the university that the students, they're concerned students, but students are not asked. I want to tackle the hate crime that seems to be on the rise um, at Sussex. Um, and I also want to make the students union more student-centered again and more student-friendly because there is such a big disconnection between students and um, students' union. We've seen in this election uh, with a low turnout and just people not really engaging with the election and I really want to put them back into the center of things. With only 2,700 students voting for executive and trustee positions, the students' union elections of 2019 have brought the lowest voting turnout in recent history. The new students' union officers will be tasked with increasing engagement of the student population in future years. This has been Imantaz Jankowskis reporting for News Hit on UniTV.